Welcome back. Your financial wellness is important to us, and we know that when you make something a habit, especially if you do it when you're young, it is easier to stick to it as you get older. That's so true. Now, there's a book called From Piggy Banks to Stocks. It's teaching our kids that investing is an adventure and not a mystery. We talked to, with the author about top tips for parents. Check it out. I mean, when I wrote it, I wrote this book for kids, but it, anybody can really use it if they want to learn how to invest. Um, and when I wrote this book, I wrote it for my younger self because I really wish I had a resource like that uh, when I was younger. Because I, uh, just like many other people, I felt very intimidated by investing. And um, even though I'm a CPA, a lot of people think that, oh, this is what I learned in school, but I did not. I had to teach myself in my 30s. And then once I learned it, I actually realized that it's not as complicated as we typically think it is. And I actually believe that we can teach it to our children as young as 10 years old. I think it's important to introduce kids to, to these concepts uh, early because I think that you know, we want them to grow up with investing as a normal part of life. This is just something we do. Anybody can do it. It's kind of like brushing our teeth. Um, we want to take the mystery out of it. Number one thing, let's teach them to save. They say that 95% of what we do, we do out of habit. We do it on autopilot. So if we can teach them to take a portion of their allowance money or gift money, save it, um, that would be number one. Uh, number two is to actually understand that money, um, there's really, there are really four different things we can do with our money. So save it, which is what I talked about. We can donate it. I think teaching our kids to be generous with their money is really important too. So um, teaching them to donate a small amount of money uh, is very, very helpful. Um, and then teaching them to spend smartly. So teaching them how to research deals. If your child, let's say, wants to buy the next, um, let's say the new PlayStation, uh, teaching them that, you know, maybe they can look for deals in different stores or maybe they can go on Facebook Marketplace and uh, and look for a used uh, PlayStation. So those would be some of the first steps, I would say. Very good takeaway. Pick up your copy of From Piggy Banks to Stocks, The Ultimate Guide for Young Investors. It's available online. I will be picking that up for myself.